Welcome back YouTube to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Android 12 Developer Preview 2. Now this has been the second update that Google has released for the Developer Preview and surprisingly they've done these updates in a pretty uh, quick fashion. Um, the first one launched back uh, about maybe a month and a half ago. Um, I made a video on how to install that. You can check that out up here. Um, and then I've been using this on my Pixel 5 as my daily driver. Um, now this update, surprisingly, um, has actually hit via OTA. So you could, um, even though you might have taken the OTA and flashed via ADB or flashed the factory image like I have done, um, the OTA came through for me um, using just check update and it showed up. Um, and it installed, everything was fine in the installation. Uh, so that usually doesn't occur until later in like the betas or something like that, not de developer previews. As we can see here, this is running the March uh, security patch version. So that is actually great. It is still surprisingly even showing Android version 11 here, um, as well as the, in the Easter egg. So unfortunately no update there, but um, so we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the uh, new features and changes and kind of share my experience for just the past couple days since I've been running this. Um, so first and foremost, dark mode unfortunately has changed for the worse. Um, and you can probably see that right away. The dark mode is no longer AMOLED. It is this kind of dark gray blue color and uh, that's unfortunate. I would have really liked to continue to see the AMOLED completely black theme. There's no way to change it. So this is consistent throughout uh, the device and all dark mode. So just uh, keep that in mind. There is that specific change here. All right. Um, and of course you can always go back to light mode if you want. So in my review of using the Android 12 developer preview in my video up here after two weeks, I said there that uh, the responsiveness and just fluidity of uh, Android 12 has been fantastic. Now developer preview 2 I feel like has been even faster and smoother um, and that's saying something to be honest like everything just feels extremely smooth and I'm to be honest like I'm blown away after this update even um, and I'm really hopeful for the future for when the stable release comes out um, so you can expect that sort of smoothness now of course I haven't actually factory reset the dev this device after flashing uh, the factory images back in my original video coming from Android 11 um, so I'm still running this as if I was coming from there. Um, so if we come into gestures here, one of the new features that has been in this developer preview too is the the mini one-handed mode, basically. This new gesture. So I'll show you how that works. So just like your other gestures, it's all kind of handled down here in this bar. So you can always, of course, swipe up slowly and hold to bring up your recents, swipe up to go home, and then you can always like swipe left and right through your apps right to go through your recent apps and quick swap now i don't really like this gesture and to activate the one-handed mode you have to go into settings gestures like i showed you your system gestures and then one-handed mode toggle it on um, to in, to basically activate it you swipe down from this little in this little area right here um, and then you can see it pretty much shrinks the, the screen halfway, as you see. And this happens anywhere. It happens when you're using Chrome, for example. It even occurs, oddly enough, on your home screen. And now you just get a borked, odd home screen that you can't <laughs> use. Um, let's see if it even works on the Google feed, so if you wanted to do that. Um, so it's... I don't like the gestures because I feel like I have to be so like deliberate in it and it's way down here. I would be interesting to really see if they have an option or maybe include like swiping down from the side of the screen over here like like this, right? Um, that would be pretty cool um, to be able to incorporate that or um, customize maybe the gesture and how to activate it or maybe if like you pinched to zoom or like pinch to make it uh, one-handed mode that'd be another pretty uh, 
useful uh, gesture in my opinion let me know in the comments what you think what the gesture should be or if you feel like this gesture down here is completely adequate so to exit out you you can press that blank space up top um, or you can just swipe up so that that's the one-handed mode um, secondly is when you are using uh, media controls right um, what you can do is the the UI has now changed for the quick playback so this now matches kind of the theme uh, of your of your of your device um, and it, it just looks much cleaner so there's that um, secondly is just and that's still hmm that's weird even though I swiped it away the app still there okay so now it's gone alrighty cool so another feature is they've done and improved the the picture in picture mode so you can go into settings and if you search picture in picture right here these are the apps that allow picture in picture you can disable them on a per app basis if you so want so for YouTube we are watching this video we swipe up and there is the picture in picture mode you can of course move it around but you can now zoom in and make the the window larger and of course move it anywhere you want resize it has a cool little it follows your finger around when you try to rotate it that sort of thing and then you can always just swipe it away so that's a, another feature in android 12 developer preview 2. so another new feature which was kind of leaked earlier on in the developer preview one was that is kind of like an anywhere swipe down gesture for the notification shade so of course you can swipe down on your home screen to access the notification side you don't have to do it from the top you can always of course do it from your fingerprint scanner um, but if your device doesn't have a fingerprint scanner you can't do that so rip for you but for example if you are on the web on Chrome or any app you can actually swipe down from this little navigation area to bring down the notification shade to check your notifications or quick toggles so that's something new also that is available I haven't used it um, just because with the pixel 5 the phone is so small I just swipe up or swipe down from the top anyways or just use my the fingerprint scanner which is so convenient whatsoever and um, there's an entirely new uh, widget picker in terms of just the, the layout um, so you go to widgets and now you can kind of have it has this more organized uh, kind of drop down UI and then you can and you just pull down to dismiss it or you can always swipe back uh, to go back as well there's other little settings too um, there's also other little tweaks um, within like the lock screen in terms of the pin and pattern right so this looks a little bit different especially if you use a pattern um, the the kind of the trail will is going to be thicker now um, I don't recall either this emergency call button being down there um, that looks new also um, so kind of expect an easier way to access uh, an emergency call but overall um, it's been running smooth like I mentioned earlier battery life I feel is maybe a tad worse not a whole lot um, but that could also be just the fact that I'm not factory resetting um, the update for the OTA was quite large as like 350 megs or so for the pixel 5 um, of course you can always flash this and sideload it via ADB or fast boot with the factory images um, and I did run into a slight a slight hiccup um, and I will put an asterisk on term in terms of the installation when I took the OTA um, from settings system system update it downloaded installed fine I restarted once the phone got back into the home screen and it was showing kind of like optimizing system after update that notification that you see um, I noticed that there was a lot of force closes or apps kind of stopping um, ranging from kind of like personalization uh, kind of like Google Assistant Google type services um, and I don't know why but 
I just restarted the phone and then they went away and never had any sort of issue after that. Um, so you just might want to just do that if you do run into those similar issues as well. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns uh, regarding developer preview 2, I want to continue making coverage and content on this as I think this is really exciting. I appreciate your all support in my channel as I make this coverage, but uh, of course, I hope that we can kind of check out some additional features that are, are mostly hidden underneath uh, kind of experimental flags that you have to enable. Um, I don't have access on kind of doing that or kind of what to actually look for to enable certain features, but hopefully uh, soon those will come down the pipeline. I'm still not rooted. I haven't just gotten around to, to be honest, I've been lazy. Um, since this is my daily driver, I don't want to really have to deal with wiping the device and resetting it all up. Um, so there's that, but you will be able to root. Um, you will have to factory reset your device, disable uh, boot verification, and then you can then flash a, a modified boot image um, at that point. So just a heads up there as always. Thank you all for watching once again. I hope this was helpful for you. As always, leave any comments or questions down below, and I will see you all in the next video. You guys, you take care and stay safe.